Welcome back to Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, where we are now in Mummy's tummy after having made her laugh hilariously with the funniest comedy show in all of gaming history, for sure. So we're in Mummy's tummy now to help out these littlies who are stuck here, and it turns out there are some nasty beasties here that are preventing them from leaving. So let's clear these beasties out by checking out some of the other rooms. So, the Rose Room was next, I believe. Splish, splosh, splosh. Oh, another one. Quickly, Ollie boy. We've got to save those littlies. Yeah, let's save these little guys. Here we go! Here goes! Now, I want to say we should be able to do this without too much difficulty. But, uh, I haven't actually done my usual leveling up. But we should be alright. There we go. We did it! And for that, we get some yogurt. Okay, and more littlies are joining us. Tidy looks like the tulip rooms come unlocked. Okay, where's the tulip room? Back here. Yeah, so this is, um, you know, just us freeing these littlies from the various rooms. We got hoorays. Fancy your chances, do you? Let's cut loose. No, I think I'll leave these fights in, as I, I don't think we've seen... I don't think we've seen this particular enemy type yet. Wow, that hurt. <laughs> is that it? That is it, Swain, that's it. Okay. More Littlies. Uh, looks like the daffodil room, uh, daffodil room has come unlocked. Where's the daffodil room that is over here? I, I love the little littlies following us behind. Isn't that great? Okay, I will uh, maybe just do a he quick heal. Bless. Let's take on the Pless. The, the Plessies. Good, good, good. Keep at it, guys. Excellent. Yeah, I think ordinarily I might try and capture some of those plessies, because they're pretty decent. Uh, the violet rooms come unlocked. Is that this way? And this must be the last one, I think. Yep, I think this is his big whale time. Blah, 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 blah. I might have the guys go all out for this. Oh, yikes, we're getting a little bit hurt. What the hell? Okay, we got a lot hurt. Leave it to me. Oh boy, we got a lot hurt. Um, can we. I don't want to use a phoenix feather here, this seems... Oh, yikes. We are not doing too well. 
Okay, we're gonna have to bring out Hank. Come on, Hank. Go on, Hank, do your thing. Yeah, we're struggling here. It's not a good sign. Here we are. All here, all here. Tidy, tidy, little tidy. That's some proper good work, you lot. Looks like all the littlies are safe and sound. Are you sure? Thank goodness for that. Let's have a quick count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, all, and all, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and all the littlies are alive. Six, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, never let them go again. There's eleven. That's a dozen. Hey, that's Bevan. He's my cousin. <laughs> Audu man. Wait, the gang's all here. Tidy. Okay, we rescued all the littlies. Blimey, rhymey, tidy, tidy. Drippy, drippy. Gah, do they ever shut up? They're so annoying. How do we get rid of them? We take them to the exit, innit? There's a slide outside. You go down that. And uh, and the way out's just, the, just by the bottom there. A slide? Why is there a slide? It's to remind them that they can slip and slide and... Uh, slip and slide on the banana skins of life in here. But when they get outside, the same stuff won't slide, innit? Typical man, that is. She's a big fan of old tough love. I have literally no idea what you're talking about. All the fairies are completely mad? <laughs> I don't care what he means. I'm just looking forward to the slide. Oh, and to be young and simple and flexible. This sounds like it's going to hurt. Not long until the littlies are finally born. Let's take them to the exit. Yes, let's get these littlies to the exit. Um, but before that, I just want to quickly heal up. All right. And, uh, yeah, let's get them out. Let's get them out. It's, I love the drawings on the back there. They're just great. Now all we have to do is hop on this slide and we'll be out of Mam's guts before you know it. You ready to go down, Ollie boy? Yep, so, uh, we are ready. Right, oh! Come on, Littlies! It's time for the slidey ride of your tiny, tiny lives! <laughs> well, don't just stand there, come on! <laughs> huh? That does look pretty cool. <laughs> What is that thing? That does not look cool. Royal jelly. Bane of mam's belly. Knickers! That rotter of a squid's got our kids! What the heck? The Littlies! No way! We already saved them once! Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the fairy race is at stake! Uh, do we have any choice? I don't think we do, Swain. Let's go. Alright. Oh, yikes. Okay, we're a bit confused. Come on. Come on, mighty. Let's go, bud. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it going, guys. Keep the attack going. Can go smash hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Gonna just chill. Oh, I need to heal. Um, okay, sandwich. And everyone defense. Oh, God. I think we're gonna get a bit hurt here. I don't think we're defending. Oh god, yeah. Unfortunately, because we healed, we didn't defend. Uh, let's consume some white bread. 
Right, Esther should be healing in this mode. So... Come on, Mighty. We'll focus on the attack. Esther then can focus on healing. What is Esther doing? Oh, say what? Now you're for it. Say what? Come on. All right. I'll do my best. Back with Oliver. Uh, no, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's give um, give a sandwich to Esther. Guys, go defensively. Play defense. And let's hit this guy with some pulse. And that was alright. Let's try... Uh, bird? Burden? No. Let's, uh, let's try pulse again. It's pretty good. Alright, Swain's a bit hurt. Um... Swain, take a sandwich. Oh. Okay, now we're we're pretty hurt. We'll take a we'll take a fish burger. All right, and time to get on the attack. Let's go. Let's go. Baby shower. All right, when he does this, what the flippin' act? There's loads of the little things coming out of it, man. Mind you, it looks proper knackered after popping that lot out. Now's your chance to give it a smack or two, Ollie boy. Yeah. Okay, so this does weaken it. But unfortunately, all of these little guys now attack us. Oh, come this way, come this way, come this way. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, mighty. Flash dance, baby. There it is. Can we get another one? Let's go. Oh, lovely. Can we get one more? Oh, no, Gunther got it. It's going volcano. Maybe Gunther should have gotten these things. He's done really well. Oh, lovely. Go, go, got Ice Age. Which didn't do that much. Okay, no worries, but everyone's healed. And the attack continues. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, guys. Uh, go smash hit. Lovely. Keep it going, guys. We almost got him. Almost. Let's keep it going. Come on. Might just get a bit tired. Uh, all right. We'll send out Percy. And Percy does like pants damage. Oh, Percy did it. Well done. Go Percy. <laughs> is that it? That is it, Swain. That's it. Alright, some nice experience for everyone, and we got Spirit of the Storm. Mighty Land Warcry, nice. And Percy can now metamorphosize, nice. Awesome. And we got the page describing the royal jelly. Ta man ta 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 ta! Thank goodness, is everyone alright? Ah, of course they are. These littlies are nowhere near as fragile as they are egg-looking. When I was their age, I ate squid for breakfast. Proper hard I was. But wasn't that a jellyfish just now? What a lucky escape, though. I've never seen a sea creature so big. I thought we were finished. Well, something had to be done about it, and I suppose we were just the ones to do it, eh? There's heroic of us. Sure, someone had to make sure the littlies made it out somehow, huh? Speaking of which... How do we get out of here? 
Yes, how do we get out of here? There's no way out. We can't go back up the slide. Of course we can't. It's miles back to the top. So what do we do? What do you think we do, man? We get reborn, innit? Huh? What? Yeah, we pop out along with the Lidleys. Come on, man. You only live once. And you're only supposed to be born once, too, you demented little gnome. Just what are you suggesting? You flippin' humans are so prudish. It's like this, see? Just up beyond here is Mom's exit. It's where the Littlies get born from, innit? And if we just pop out with them, we'll be back in the fairy ground before you know it. Besides, it's not like we've got much choice in the matter. Just pop out. Are you mad? Poppy, tidy, tidy, righty, way. Gee, I don't know about this. Don't worry. As long as we're together, we'll make it through somehow. Remember the eye of the storm? We survived that, didn't we? Toppy, poppy, toppy, poppy. Then I guess this is it. Time to be born again. Here goes nothing, man. We'll make a quick exit. All right. Time for them to... And one heck of an entrance. Here we go. They're going to be born again. This is great. This is great. Oh, they're coming. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, they're coming. At long last. Come on, my little darlings. <laughs> and that's <laughs> that's how you born again. Well done. I love the confetti. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> oh man. Honestly, this the fairy playground is just. This is just a wonderful little side mission for, the, for this whole game. Where's Drippy? It's getting late. Yeah, he must be knackered after the day we've had. I know I am. Oh, look, there he is. You boys did a proper tidy job, man. Mom was laughing fit to flip and burst. Well, we couldn't have done it without you, Drippy boy. Them pieces of art pack a real punch, innit, though? We were on fire, Mom. Yeah, I suppose I would have. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you would have bombed without my helper. Mind you, your routine. I've got to say, man, it was pretty flippin' funny. Really, thanks, Drippy boy. Took me back. It did back to the days when the stage was still my life. Ah, it's a tidy while ago now. Your gags are legendary, man. Classics they were. Our material's nothing compared to yours. I'm just chuffed we made you chuckle. He's right, man. When it comes to tickling Mom's funny bone, there's no one ever did it quite like you, Drippy boy. Stop it, man. You're making me blush. The time for my jokes is long gone. I won't be back on the circuit anytime soon. Besides, I've got that lot to be shepherding around now, innit? What uh, what would they do without me? Drippy boy. But I do think about it sometimes. What would have happened, you know, if I'd never gone off with Alicia like? I wonder how far I would have gone in the old comedy game. Mr. Drippy? Oh, it's you lot, isn't it? What's up? You didn't hear all that, did you? Um, we, uh, no, we didn't hear anything. No, we just got here, didn't we? Um, anyway, it's late. We should get some rest. Yeah, you're right. Tidy. I'll show you to the old inn, shall I? It's a bit small for you lot, but you'll just have to grin and bear it. How am I supposed to sleep in a fairy-sized bed? I'm sure you'll manage somehow. You never seem to have much trouble falling into a deep and noisy sleep. Gee, poor Mr. Drippy. Ah, oh, what's Oliver thinking? <laughs> oh, Oliver. What's wrong? It's Philip. He's mean. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, Ollie boy. Don't cry, man. I'm the tear fairy, see? I don't like seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. <laughs> you talk funny. 
<laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's Goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? Aww. Oh, how can I ever thank you, Bach? Save my life, you did. We're just happy to help, ma'am. And we're sure glad the Lidleys are safe. But are you alright now? You did have a giant jellyfish inside you, after all. Oh, is that what it was? I thought it was a squid. Us fairies love a bit of seafood, see? And it looked so big and juicy, I just couldn't help myself. You mean... That's right, Bach. Swallowed it straight down, I did. What? There... There we were, worrying she'd been attacked by Shadar, and it was all because she's too greedy for her own good. Look on the bright side, Swain. It means the reason was much less serious than we thought it was. Shadar, you say? Where have I heard that name before? Shadar, Shadar. Oh, him! You know Shadar, ma'am? Nope. <laughs> Is she taking the mech? Sorry, love, of course I know him. He's that one who's the, uh, he's that one who was flying around my head, causing all kinds of mischief. Proper little terror he is. Smiley, surly, get your bottoms over here. We're here, we're here. Keep your hair on, man. What is it, mum? Stop flipping shouting. Can you two boys go and take a look over by Shadar's castle for me? What knickers? <laughs> not bad, love, not bad. I thought you'd lost your comic, <laughs> comic touch. But with a rea but what a reaction. Found your form again, huh? That's lovely. This isn't part of a flippin' act, man. We just asked us to go to Shadar's flippin' castle. What kind of reaction did you expect? You can't refuse ma'am though, can we? We'd best go and have a look, huh? Crikey, we don't much take much convincing, do you? Yeah, man, but think about Ollie Boy and that. They helped us out good and proper, didn't they, or at least we can do is return the favour. Sure, uh, there you are being noble again. What did I tell you about that? Please, boys, for me. You wouldn't want to disappoint your dear old ma'am now, would you? You can say that again. We know better than to get on her bad side. Looks like we're, looks like we're taking a sabbatical then, huh? What's that? Splitting up, you mean? Righto, might as well, huh? How many times? We are not flipping splitting up. I mean, we'll have to take a break for a bit, honestly. Thank you, Smiley. Thank you, Surly. Don't thank us, thank Mom. It was her flippin' idea. Tama. Anyway, we'll let Drippy Boy know if we find anything in it. Thank you. Speaking of Drippy, where is he? He slipped off in it. Probably gone to say bye to all the boys in town. Oh, Drippy, Mr. Drippy. Righto, you're off now, ain't you, Bach? Me? Uh, yes, ma'am. We have to find the next great sage. Course you do, love. You're a wizard in it. Fancy a spell or two to be going on your way with? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. I mean, yes, please, ma'am. Sweet. We have shift shape. And second self. Okay. And mimic. And vanish. And wear cat. <laughs> and wear fish. I swear some of these are just... <laughs> And shrink. And open mind. And loaf of life. And poison apple. Wow, that's a lot of spells. Ha, it sure is. Thank you so much, ma'am. And they're all proper... <laughs> oh, are they useful? And they're all proper useful ones too. Well, useful to fairies at least. Still, I'm sure there's one or two in there that you can make use of, love. We'll have a look later. We need to get moving. Come on, we've wasted enough time. Let's find Lantern Face and get back to the boat. You're right, we need to get back on the trail of the Great Sage. We sure do. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye. Ta-da, my loves. Pop by any time. Aw. So Drippy's left us. Or he's not with us at the moment, at least. Anyhow. Before we get back to Drippy, we do need to do something. Where is he? 
He was right here, where is he? Could he be back in town? Or maybe it's, we can't do it just yet? Let, let's see. <laughs> Look at Mr. Drippy! Don't go get it all soppy on me. <laughs> Oi, I thought I told you to... <laughs> he does have a caring side after all. Hmm, family's family, I suppose. Mr. Drippy, this is where you need to be. Shall we go? Maybe we should. This is where he belongs, after all. Yeah. It is, huh? Oh, that's um. This is pretty tough for Oliver. Like we we've, we've seen the significance that Drippy is has to him, like how important he is. Oh, um. Actually, hang on. I just need to double back quickly. Where is that? Where's Horace? Where is that friendly ghost? I wonder if we need to have Mr. Drippy in the party to... No, but he should be around here. Hmm. Okay. Well, we might be able to come back. Mr. Mr. Drippy's gonna... He's gonna be okay there. Isn't he? Well, actually, I'll just... No, I think, um... Yeah, it does look like there is stuff that we still need to do here. Because there was definitely a... Fairy with a, a piece of heart. Let's just see if we can go back now. Nope, still not. Okay. Well, I guess it's uh, time to go. And uh, yeah, having done all that, I believe it's time for us to get back to the ship. Captain Sinba... Uh, Captain Sin Sinba? I, I just realized that. Oliver, thank goodness. Tell me what you found what you somewhere to shelter at night. We sure did, and we brought a ton of food, too. There's a little village on the island, and... A village, you say, and food also. I am pleased to learn this, and you'll be pleased to learn that my men have completed their repairs on the ship. She is ready to sail upon your command. Shall I give the order to weigh anchor? Um, yeah, let's... let's go. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Hmm. You are troubled, I feel. Have you left something behind in the forest? No. No, we're ready to go. Very well. We sail. Yeah, so I guess this is goodbye for Mr. Drippy. We did the right thing, didn't we? Of course. Family's the most important thing there is. We all know that. And besides, he's no spring chicken. It's probably about time he settled down. And you still got us, Oliver. The three of us can do this if we work together. I guess so. Oi! Huh? Did you hear that? Huh? <laughs> Mr. Drippy! Aren't you forgetting someone? Aha! Phew, I'm pooped, man. You trying to leave without me or something? But Drippy, we thought you wanted to stay back there in the fairy ground. Who told you that, man? And when exactly? I want names, dates, times. We just thought all your friends are back there. Of course they are, man. And they're very dear to me. Even the stupid ones. But you and me have been a team since you were a littley, 
and I was just a doll in it, Dolly Boy. I've been by your side through thick and thin. Remember what you said. You said I was your friend. You lot are all my friends, my companions, my brothers and sisters, my family. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Shut it, you. What I mean is, you lot are stuck with me whether you like it or not. So get that into your thick skulls, won't you? Yes, sir, Mr. Drippy. Hmm, you were only trying to be nice after we heard what you said to your friends yesterday. Oh, so it's my fault now, is it? I get it. You don't think I've been pulling my weight, is it? Fine, I'm going to start using a little trick I know it'll blow your tiny minds. Drippy has, <laughs> Drippy has finally got his act together and can now use the Tidy Tears ability. Yeah, I can't wait to see this. Anyway, it looks like the gang's all here. Shall we get back to what we're supposed to be doing? What he said. To Hamlin and the next great sage, Otomnia. Here we come. Let's go. Okay, Drippy joined us again. And the brazen presumptuousness of the te Tear Fairy's heart has unlocked the story in The Wizard's Companion. We have a new tale of Wanda, the fairy who wouldn't stop crying. The Eye of the Storm. Until now, the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But the boy... He has a... Unique power. Perhaps. Or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps... Apeth. Forgive me, your radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics. Who could it be? The sage, Alicia. I had wondered, your radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the Sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the Ancients, the wand wrought by the Wizard King. Mornstar. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of power tricks, after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own Council's wands and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Hmm. Morstar. Interesting. Okay, before anything else, we are going to be heading right back. And here he is. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Horace. Uh, we need to use... Spirit Medium to talk to him. Okay, we didn't have VMP last time. Oliver, it's you. Thank goodness you're here. What's wrong, Horace? I stowed away aboard a ship in Castaway Cove, but when I woke up, I was here. I never knew there was a whole forest full of these little loonies. When did this happen? Why, you cheeky little beggar, the fairy ground here has been a center of fairy culture for centuries. Only centuries? Well, it wouldn't have been here when I was in my travels then. Eh? Yeah? What do you want about? Nothing. Anyway, it may not be where I expected to see you next, but let's give you your next puzzle anyway, shall we? You're getting to be a pretty good wizard these days, Oliver. That means you must have a genie at your command. A genie? You mean alchemy? Sure I do. Good. 
then this will be nice and easy for you. You've seen the formula gathered by wither wizards over the years in the Wizard's Companion, haven't you? I often used to whip myself up a nice burger when I was on my travels. You did? Burgers are my favorite, too. Then you'll know just what that certain special no burger, special something no burger can do without is, won't you? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's the one ingredient all burgers need. Let me know when you've worked it out. I think we have. I think we know. Can we find it in the Wizard's Companion? Uh, what could it be? I mean, I, I, I know what it is. But uh, let's just see if it's here. A cheeseburger? Or a fish burger? Well, they both have the same thing. They both have one common denominator. Crispy lettuce. So yeah, that seems to be the important thing there. So let's try our luck. Uh, crispy lettuce. That's right. The one ingredient no burger can do without is a nice portion of crispy lettuce. Burgers, eh? We used to have a burger place by, uh, you know, <laughs> McDaffid's, it was called. <laughs> I, I, I used to love popping down there for a nice juicy McRib. <laughs> wow, that does sound not good. I'd love to try one. Me too. Wait, I've just remembered something. What is it, man? There was another page from the Wizard's Companion I meant to give you, but I lost it somewhere. It, uh, it was for a funny little spell called Levitate. Maybe one of these fairies found it. Anyway, if you come across it, it's yours. Uh, thanks. But that means I need to think of something else to give you for your answers to my question. Oh, I know. I, uh, it was a question about alchemy, after all. Here you go. Okay, we got a new alchemy formula. It's the recipe for the Sage of Ages Super Special Mega Medicine. You should give it a try. It can cure anything. Right, I can't stay on this island full of loonies any longer. I'm off to the next town. Maybe I'll hop on the back of one of those big sea beasts and ride over to the nearest continent. See you soon. Oh, Horace. Oh, Horace. What are we going to do with you? Yeah, the old the Sage of Ages here. It, it's worth it doing his quests, I think. But, as we're back in the fairy ground, new quests have popped up, including this man. You know what it is. Oh, I say! How jolly lovely to see you again. Who would have thought we'd end up meeting in a grummy old place like this, huh? It's nice to see you too, sir. How did you wind up here? Well, I chartered myself a ship to Old Autumnia and spied this place from atop the crow's nest, as it were. Looked rather jolly, so I thought I'd take a look. And lo and behold, I find myself in a town full of fairy folk. I really ought to jot down my first impressions, what? Let's see now. Oh, bother. You're kidding me, right? I wish I were, old stick. But I rather seem to have mislaid my diary yet again. I really am the most insufferable blockhead. You really flippin' are. This is the third flippin' time. I rather fear it is, yes. Do you think you might be able to help a silly old sausage out one last time? Yeah, let's help him out. Sure, leave it to us. Marvelous. Tally-ho, what? Tahiti ain't too big. One half-decent clue should put us on the right track. Well, now, let me see. I did happen across a little corker of what one might call a grotto or cave on my wanderings. Yes, took the weight of the old plates of meat <laughs> with the aid of a fallen log and jotted down a few choice ponderings. Very pleasant. A cave? I've never seen a cave around by here. Still, if you say so, let's go and have ourselves a goosey gander, shall we? Yes. Okay, I, th I think I know where he means. Anyhow. Guys, uh, this is... Uh, we'll take a quick break here. When we get back, I think it is finally time for us to be doing a bit of sailing and exploring, as uh, we haven't really had much occasion to do so just yet. And, uh, I mean, there's so much to see now that we have access to a ship, whatnot. And uh, as the, uh... Oh!
Oh, oh, this looks like a cave. And this looks like the gentleman's diary. Yeah, we'll take this back to him and then uh, begin our exploring. But um, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.